Welcome to IT Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how to configure shared folder on Windows Server 2022. So I will be using Windows File Share service to share the folder. So I have logged on to Windows Server 2022 with my domain admin account. Now the first thing is to open Server Manager. Then in Server Manager, by default, you will see on the left hand side this option for file and storage services. So click on this option and then you will see number of other options which are part of file and storage services. So select shares from the list. Then here under tasks, click on the drop down and select new share. We will go with the default option that is SMB share quick and then select next. Now here I will have to select the server that holds the shared folder. So I have the shared folder on the same server. So I will select that and then below we have to select the share location. So this will be the location for the shared folder. So let me select type a custom path and then click on browse and here I will be selecting the folder that I want to share through Windows file share service. So I have already created a folder called HR documents. So I am going to select that folder and now the path of that folder is displayed here. So this folder will be shared with all the users after we create this window share. Then click next. Now I will give a name to the share. So I'll keep the name as HR documents and it also shows us the local path to share and the remote path to share. So remote path to share will be by default server name followed by the folder name. So I'll keep that path as it is, as the default one and then click next. Now here there are some more settings related to file share. So the first setting is enable access based enumeration. So if I select this option, then user will be able to see only those files and folders that he has permission to access. If he doesn't have permission to any file or folder, then Windows will hide that particular file and folder. So this is for better security. So you can select this option. Then the next option is allow caching of share, which is selected by default. This will allow users to access the share even if user is offline and not on the network. So we will select these two options and then click next. Now here we have to give permissions to the users who are supposed to access this file share. So I will click on customize permissions. So in order to restrict permissions to specific users, I need to first remove the permissions that are granted by default. So all these permissions are inherited from the parent folder. So I will just remove those inherited permissions. So click on disable inheritance and then I will click on the first option convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions. So I will select the account and then click on remove and now I will add the users who are supposed to access this file share. So click on add, then click on select a principal and then type the name of the user account or the security group that you want to give permissions to. So I have already created a security group. So I will type the name of that group and then click on check names so that it identifies the group and then click OK. So now by default read permissions, read and list permissions are granted. 
so let's say I want to give modify permission so I'll just select the option modify so that uh, users from this group will be able to read as well as make changes to the folder contents so I'll select modify and then click OK then click on apply and then click on OK now click next now it will just summarize the settings that we have done and then click on create so both the tasks are completed create SMB share as well as setting the permissions both are completed so then click on close and now if you go back to shares section you will be able to see the folder that we just now configured so now I am going to test if this folder is accessible on a different system or not so I have granted permissions to a specific group so if I go to Active Directory users and computers I could see the group that I have given access to which is the HR group so if I double click and open this group and go to the members section then I could see this user James Bond is already part of this group so I'm going to log into a different system with this particular account and then I will see if the file share is accessible or not so I'm now on the different system so in order to test if I can access the shared folder let me open run prompt so right click windows logo and click on run and then I'll type the path for the shared folder so backslash backslash dc1 dot my domain dot local this is the fqdn for the server that hosts the shared folder so the server name that is dc1 followed by the domain name my domain dot local and then backslash so I'll select HR documents folder and then click OK and then this folder is now open now if I click on network on the left hand side it will show me the system that is on the network so in this demo environment I just have another server on the network so if I double click this so here as well I am able to see the folder HR documents that I have shared so this is the way how you can use Windows file share and configure shared folder on Windows Server 2022. If you found this information useful, then please subscribe to IT Tutorials. Thank you.